This is absolutely a new approach to abdominal training. In the past, we spent a lot of time on exercises which challenge our abdominal muscles as prime movers. For example, we did numerous versions and sets of forward curls which initiate this movement when you're on your back. But we don't spend a lot of time doing that on our back during a normal day. So our abs actually spend more of their time acting as trunk stabilizers to support the back and pelvis when we lift heavy objects or <laughs> when we cough or when we hold our breath to bear down. As stabilizers, the abs hold the pelvis in its neutral position to give us good torso alignment and avoid this annoying little pot belly which sometimes plagues even fairly lean people. One of the abdominal muscles which we've under-exercised in the past is the transverse abdominus. It acts like a girdle. It flattens the abdominal wall and compresses the abdominal organs. Goodbye, control top pantyhose. Hello, strong abdominal wall. And thanks to new research, we now have great exercises to train the abdominal muscles to become better stabilizers. So we'll do some of the older exercises, which certainly have value, and lots of the new, more functional, stabilizing work. Now these exercises start out fairly easy and graduate in difficulty, so go as far as you can and have faith that you're going to get stronger and eventually do them all. All right, let's go to work on this belly. Remember, the transverse abdominals are the deepest of your abdominal muscles, and the fibers run horizontally. It's like a big, wide cinch belt, and the primary function of these muscles is forced expiration. So <laughs> they help you cough and they sneeze. So you can use them to push your belly out or pull your belly in, and we want you to use them to pull your belly in as though you were trying to pull your navel right down to your backbone. So try that with me. We'll do 10 of them. Pull down, down, and now release. Down, down, and release. Down, and release. Down, and release. I think we got five more. Here's five. Can you feel it? I can really yeah. feel it. Now it's not happening in your glutes. It's not your it's your, not your buttocks. It's the belly muscles. What? Two more? Yep, two more. Okay. Make this your very best one. Pull down and then release. Alright, now that's the basis of all these stabilizing exercises that we're going to do. So that abdominal brace has got to happen on any exercise where we're training the abs to be better stabilizers. And here's the first one. You're going to take one leg to vertical. And all you're going to do is abdominal brace and then lower the heel to the floor and bring it back up. The other leg stays on the floor. Here we go. Down and down and up and up. Two and down and up. Now, though your leg is moving, it's, it's really your belly that's doing the work. So that's what you got to focus on. you got to keep that back flat. Hold that abdominal brace. Your legs are just offering a challenge to the bracing. All right. Two more. Don't let your back arch. Last one. And up and up. How'd you do? I did fine. Okay. Try the other side. Mm. Got your brace ready. Go. Lower, down, up, up, and Easy down. To let it go. Yes. It really takes focus, mental focus. Remember when we just started learning these exercises? How hard it was to sustain the brace? It gets better. And we're focusing particularly here on the lower fibers of the abdominals. Don't let that back arch. Two more. 
it's a policeman counting. <laughs> Two more, you're right. Last one. And uh, okay. Now we're those were using the abs as stabilizers. Let's use them as prime movers. Let's do forward curls. You have hand options. You can put your hands right out here or behind your head, but don't do this. None of this. <laughs> no. You want to keep it smooth. Okay, ready? We lift. Up and up and down. So this is challenging the rectus abdominis. It's the prime mover here. And it does this movement only when you're lying down. It's interesting that if you do this waist bend standing up, it should not your rectus that makes that movement. It's eccentric contraction of your back muscles. Two Counting. more. <laughs> Thank you. Here we go. The very last one. Now, this big rectus we just worked, the fibers run up and down from the sternum and your ribs down to your pubic bone. And it's a fusiform muscle, which means it's a strap-like muscle, and it produces those long, smooth movements, but it's not good for stabilizing. We're going back to that one-leg pump. Bad news, though. In addition to the moving leg vertical, you got the other thigh vertical. So no help from the floor here. You're really going to have to abdominal brace hard with all your heart and still lower the heel to the floor. Here we go. It's down and down and Ooh, up. That's a little and bit up. of a difference. Yes. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> it makes, it's sort of like riding a bike without the training wheels. <laughs> Hold to your abdominal brace. Remember but to breathe, don't you hold guys. Your don't hold your breath. It's a real temptation because these are hard. Try just to breathe normally. We won't try and control your breathing, but I certainly don't want you to hold your breath because it spikes your blood pressure up. One more? One more. Ooh. Do you need a little rest? <laughs> okay, we got the other leg to do. Support leg is not on the floor. You're going to lower the other leg. Okay, grab your abdominal brace. Ready, set, go. Down and down and up and up. That's it. Up and up. Now remember, we're working here to strengthen your belly muscles. If you have excess belly fat, you carry more fat than you'd like on your belly, you need to get in calorie deficit. That means at the end of the day, you need to have expended more calories than you took in. So you need to eat less fat, do aerobic exercise, and weight train. Last one. Good. And done. Put those down for a little rest. Now we're going to do reverse curls. Why do you need to weight train? Because the more muscle you have, I thought you'd finish my <laughs> sentence. <laughs> I, I've been on the more soapbox. calories the we more ca even at rest. She said it perfectly. <laughs> you got muscle, you're going to increase your resting metabolism. Okay, reverse curls. Put a, put a strap of bailing wire here. Just get these legs out of the way real tight. Use your belly muscles to curl your pelvis toward your head. It's not this. It's not bad at all. That's why I want you to get rid of your legs. Here we go. Curl up, lower, down. And curl and down. Third time. It's a very, very subtle movement. But not if much. you're doing it, you <laughs> feel it. That's right. <laughs> you don't have any doubt. You can certainly feel it. And it's not an easy one. If you've never done these before, they feel a little awkward in yes, the beginning. Yes, I felt so awkward. Yeah. I had to do it for weeks before it That's felt right. like I was doing anything. Yeah. It'll come. It'll come. Well, Just that was one extra for good faith. measure. Oh, all right. <laughs> well, and, and it couldn't happen on a better place because it's better to recruit these abdominal muscles from the bottom up. That's that's really fine work. Okay, eccentric crunches. Here's what you're gonna do. Let me just show. Concentric is when you're working and the muscles are shortening. They're they're contracting and they're shortening. 
but the muscles can also work and lengthen at the same time. So this is the concentric phase. Going down is the eccentric phase. Well, turns out that the eccentric phase is exquisitely effective in producing strength. So we're going to milk the eccentric phase for all it's worth. You're going to sit up here and you're going to abdominal brace real hard so you can roll back real slowly just like a slinky. Now that's the work. Here's easy. Use your hands to get up. That's a no-brainer. Okay. <laughs> Ready, set, go. Abdominal brace. Two, three, four. Use your hands. Two, three, four. And roll. Real easy. Now, if you get good at it, abdominal bracing, you can articulate every little segment of your spine as you go down so it's real smooth like a slinky. In the beginning, you may not be able to brace that hard, and here's what happens. Let me show you. You'll be going down, and you get sort of three-quarters of the way down, and it just kind of flop. Well, let me show you how to abort. You get to the point of flop, abort. Just put your hands there. It doesn't do you any good to work through the flop. As you get stronger, the point of flop will get lower and lower and finally disappear. How are we doing, Renee, on count? Two more still. <laughs> Abdominal brace, real hard. Going on, Make this next one your very best one. Come on. I want you to really lower it slowly. Each little vertebra by itself. Oh, <laughs> that is good hard work. Okay, let's flip it over and we're gonna do pelvic tilt. But you're gonna do this pelvic tilt, not with these guys, don't tighten those, but with this guy, you're gonna abdominal brace. So that's gonna pull you way up like that. And here's the problem. When you come back to neutral, hold an abdominal brace. Don't let it go and droop in the middle. All right? Ready, set, go. Up, up, down to neutral. Two, up, down to neutral. Three, and down. Don't forget, here's the danger point right there. Everybody can do this, but this is where we can let it go. Up, up, down, down. Up, up. Give me a count. Two more after this. Okay. Really? Or did you really? just make that out? Really? <laughs> you know how she knows, oh, you know, every you know, once in a hey, while I do you do notice, take places. You'll notice that on the hard ones, her count changes. <laughs> and right. these ones and are on not so hard. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, we do lots of these. <laughs> okay, one for good measure. And that lower it down. Okay. <laughs> All of this is good practice. Even on the ones that are easier, they have value. Don't skip them out. Okay, <laughs> oblique curls. <clears throat> the internal and external obliques help you lift and twist simultaneously. So we'll take it to opposite sides. If you want your hands here instead of behind your head, that's fine. Just don't be giving me any of this <laughs> business. Oh no, those hands have to be quiet. Okay, and ready, set, go. Lift, back, over, back. So make sure that you're twisting as well as lifting. The internal and external oblique abs rotate your upper body on your pelvis as they stabilize your back and pelvis and compress your abdominal wall. So they are really important muscle groups. Last time. These will give us a waistline. Last time? That's it. Oh, good. Yeah, well, and, and more, more than that, they will help you stay in good alignment so your waistline does what it's supposed to do and looks good as well. I mean, why not? Okay, just to make sure you're getting a real sense of what this pelvis is doing. I'm going to, I'm going to separate it out. So you really have to be grabbing that abdominal brace. Here's what I'm going to do. It's a four count brace. I'm going to start you like this. This is in neutral. I'm going to ask you to brace. Count one, 
Count two, holding that brace, you're gonna lower your leg. Count three, you bring it up. And count four, you relax. So again, it's one, two, three, four. Are you ready? Okay. We're ready. Here we go. Brace, down, up, relax. Brace, straighten, up, relax. Brace, straighten, and relax. Brace, down, up. Brace, down, up. Brace, down, up. You're counting. Brace, Brace down, up. Here's you really in. have to think about that brace because your lever is so long when you lower it. Brace. You can down. really see it, you know, when you brace. Sure you I can. can really yeah, see of course it. you can. And man, can you feel well, it? I didn't do it because we're done. One that more time. That was unfinished. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> okay. Try the other side. Practice your brace. Here we go. Brace, straighten, down, up. Brace, straighten, down, up. Brace, straighten, down. Use your brain to brace. Don't stop breathing. Brace, straight. Isn't that down. 10, Renee? <laughs> Here we go. I think you're right, Patty. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I can't laugh and brace at the same time. <laughs> and down. Still two more. And you really do have a tendency on these hard ones to valsalva. Right, we're done. To, uh, 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 <laughs> and close your glottis and hold your breath. Try not to do that. Try and just breathe normally. Now, I am going to sh condense this and make it even harder. Instead of four counts, you're going to get two. I'm in neutral. I gotta grab my brace and lower at the same time, come back up and release. So the count will be one, two, one, two. It's just that we're not segmenting it out. Got it? Understand? Got it. Clear yeah. as mud, ready, go. Down, two, up, two. Down, and up. Down, and up. You know, these um, um, internal, external obliques and the transverse abdominis that we use for bracing and the little erector spiny muscles in the back, which we're going to get to real quickly here, those guys are real team players and That's they fun. act in concert. Take a break. Just rest a minute. They, uh, they act in concert to Stabilize your trunk and spine, much like guy wires on a tent pole. It's the, the, the way that it all works is really quite miraculous. Okay, here we go. And it down, two, up, relax. Brace, 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 relax. Brace, 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 relax. Good work. Now you need to have a little check to make sure these knees don't come oh, up because yeah. they want to come up <laughs> to right. make it easier. That don't is they? right. Here's what you'll find yourself doing: the support leg. He'll be getting closer and closer to your to your face, and you and to keep the challenge, you want him to just stay on more. So just flex your wrist, and for most people, if you flex your wrist and put it just above your knees. That means you're pretty much at, at a 90 degree angle here, size vertical. So you'll see us doing that every now and then, just to check our positions. Now we're going to do make this really hard. We're going to bring up both legs, abdominal brace, in great earnesty. Lower one leg, straighten it, bring it back, and up. All that with a brace. Okay, uh, here we go. Down, straighten, back, up. Down, straighten, Yeah, it's back, time for a check. Up. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> they do creep up. Your body finds ways to make hey, it easier. listen, let me tell you how to make it easier. If the going gets tough and you really feel that you're starting to lose your brace, you can always put your support leg down. You should consider that Two more. Um, constructive cheating. It's, a, it's, it's like an open book Last test. One. 
You want to put them down and rest a minute? So anytime you want to put your leg down, feel welcome. Okay, troops. Here we go. Down, straighten, back and up. Grab that brace as that heel goes down. Brace, Don't brace, let that back brace, up. release, brace, brace. Remember brace. to breathe release. too, you guys. <laughs> hey, listen. Do you guys remember when we first started these exercises? How hard this was? Patty, don't you need to put your head down? Don't you find that that is just more energy? Yes, but I like it. <laughs> oh, oh, well. Hey. Last one. <laughs> hey, listen. I like to be tortured. She's in, she's in med school. She's so used to working hard. She doesn't know how to relax. That's what I like. I love it. <laughs> the hip extensors also play a part in stabilizing the pelvis. Well, not so much stabilizing as controlling its movement. And so, this is what you usually get. When you say to someone, move your hip back, move your leg back, they do this, the back arches. We want to practice holding of an abdominal brace in either a neutral alignment or even pelvic tilt. And now, doing hip extension, just press your leg back and forward. Here we go, back. Back, well, you can't front, go very far, front. can you? <laughs> it really reduces your range of motion. If you're doing this, you're losing that brace. Come on, we want to hold that pelvis just as tight and stable as we can. That's it. And back and forward. Don't think about your leg. The ball game is here. It's the action in your pelvis. Last one. And back. Okay. Switch sides. Arched back. Pelvic tilt. And that's the position we want to hold. Okay. Here we go. Hip extension. Back to neutral. Back. And to neutral. Think about your pelvis. The obliques stabilize and support the back and pelvis here. The external obliques, by the way, are the most superficial of the abdominal muscles. And the direction of the fibers is forward and downward toward the center. But the internal obliques, which are just Last beneath one. the externals, um, they're, they're like an inverted V. The fibers run up toward the center, and they these obliques are incredible. They wrap continually around the front, and then they extend around the back so that the internal structures, even the vertebra, are encased in protective uh, uh, surroundings. It's, it's, it's just so clever. <laughs> okay. As long as you, you guarantee they work like control top pantyhose. Yeah, they work better than control <laughs> top. Uh, lots more comfortable, too. The little erector spiny also influence pelvis movement. So we're going to make them good and strong here. You're going to come down and just press up. That's it. And lower down. Keep it slow. We go. Up, up, down, down. That's it. And you know, the erector spiny contract when we lift. This is back extension. And when you bend over at the waist, they stretch. And we really want to make those little muscles strong. So you got a strong surrounding your middle, a strong abdominal wall, and a strong back. That's about the best you can ask for. And also, when we lean back like this... And we're done. We neutralize the pressure and the little jelly-filled discs in our spine. Try it with no hands. Try this. Now, you're going to use these muscles, not your neck. Your neck stays in neutral. And you just lift up, up, down. Try it with me. Up and up and down and down. So that's back extension. You see, when we do our forward curls, we make the pressure inside those little jelly-filled discs 
go to the back of your body. It's posterior pressure. And that's fine, but we need to kind of neutralize it. And here, when we do back extensions, the pressure in those discs is forward to your body. It's toward the front of your you body, are. anterior. So we come out ah, and move to one. Oh! I love it. I like How it. you feel? I like okay, race. gang, now remember, it, you, you are going to get stronger. When we first started this, I would say two months ago, we really had trouble with some of these moves. Especially going to 10. <laughs> yeah, 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 lots of them we couldn't do 10 at a crack. We had to take little breaks. And this strength comes on so beautifully. Just hang in there. Now we're bringing out the big guns. These exercises start hard and get harder. So hang on to your hats, cowboys. Get down here and let's just practice the abdominal brace. Remember, it's navel right through your belly to the tailbone, right to the backbone, right to the floor. Try it again. Brace, brace, and release. Brace, brace, and release. Brace, brace, and release. Brace, brace. Do you remember it? <laughs> okay. I trust you. I trust you. Here we go. We're going to use that abdominal brace. You're going to grab that. Then you're going to take your heels out as far as you can and still keep the brace. And then bring them back. Now look here. Nobody, but nobody can straighten their legs, can lock their knees, because what happens, that pulls in your lumbar curve. I mean, that, that's more the neutral position. We want you to abdominal brace, and throughout this whole effort, keep your back flat on the floor. Okay, ready? Try this with me. And ready, set, go. Heels out, heels back. Two, and out, and back. Three, and out. Don't hold your breath. Hold your brace. Again. Oh, it is out tough. and out, and back, and back. Out, and out, back, Just and back. back. Ten. No, <laughs> we have two more, <laughs> sorry. Oh, <laughs> We're not home yet. Here it is, last one. Oh, whoa. And up, you do, yeah, it is tough. I mean, now you got to keep an earnest brace. These are not half-hearted braces. These are real earnest. And we're going to do forward curls. At the same time, we do reverse curls. It's going to look like this. You're going to come all together in the middle so that I'm using both the upper and the lower fibers of my abdominals simultaneously. Get these legs up here. Lock them down. Are you ready? Ready, set, go. Curl and down. This one's up, easy to cheat up. on. It really is easy to cheat on. Hard to do well. If you go swinging your legs in the That's air That's why I yeah. want you to lock these legs away. Just get rid of them. That's, you know, and, and, and in the beginning, it's easy to use momentum from the legs. And it doesn't work in your favor. It's funny how everybody naturally knows how to make something. Everybody knows. <laughs> Speaking of which, everybody is done. born cheaters. What you're saying? That's it, guys. <laughs> That's ten of them. Okay, now that is using the abdominal muscles as the prime movers there, and we're going to again use them as prime movers as we curl. But we're going to come up. And then we're going to milk the eccentric curl, the part that's really effective in, in achieving strength development. So we go up for one and down for three. And uh, here we go. Up and down and down and down. And up and down. Now try and keep your neck in neutral. Don't do this. The neck is just coming along for the ride because it just happens to be attached to your shoulders. We can't leave it back there. But make the work happen here. Here's the strain. 
Yeah, and that first up. down is where you really feel it. Yeah, yeah. Renee, I remember after one of your babies. Last one. I can't. Well, that was it. That was it. Do you remember after oh. your after first or Davis. second? You couldn't do I one. I couldn't do one. She couldn't do I couldn't one. Do one. I was She's mortified. So solitary. <laughs> mortified. <laughs> And look at her now. I mean, there's hope, gang. There's hope. Look at you her can now. do two now, right? <laughs> <laughs> years later. There you go. She Watch it. Down. This guy's getting tough now. This is a leg set down. You've been here before, but here's the difference. You got you you got a support on the floor to start. We're gonna come down and straighten. But here's what happens. You have to set it down. You have to relax your leg. That's hard because there's a war going on. Your trunk is working like crazy and your legs down there on coffee break. Then you bring it back and up. So try it with the legs on the floor for support. And ready. Down, set down, and up. Extend and set down, back up. Heel, set down, heel, and up. Heel, set down, it is a weird a, feeling, isn't it? It is. Relax that and hold that brace. It's sort of like rubbing your tummy yeah. and patting your head. One part of your body is working full tilt, and the other part's just la la and around. And it's not the part you can see. <laughs> That's right. Use your brain, though. Really Last mentally one. focus. Good. Okay. You want a little tush wiggle there? <laughs> Here we go. Ready, set, go. Heel, set down, back, and up. And set down, back, and up. And down. Now, you know, with abdominals, you can train every single day. You don't need to allow a day off for recovery like you do when you weight train the what other muscles. Yeah, because they, we're training them to do what they do all day anyway. Oh, they they, use, they, they have, shave up fast. They have stamina. They really do come around Last so one. fast. Okay. Moving on. Reverse curl on the incline. So you got gravity working against you. Now, if you don't have a step at home, let me tell you what I do. You're gonna, you're gonna get those legs up there real tight, okay? There's none of this. Oh no, there's <laughs> none of this stuff. There's some room. And you're gonna curl like this. Up, up, ready, go. Up and up. Oh yes, it's a wee bit harder on an incline. Yeah, it, and the steeper your <laughs> incline, the harder it is. Now here's what you do. If you don't have a bench, you take your ironing board, and you put the broad end <laughs> against a wall, and you put the narrow end on something really stable. I have a wood box, just a wooden box. It's real heavy. And I put the narrow end on that wooden box. Last one. And, and set it up so it doesn't slip around. Great. And I call that the, the poor man's um, incline bench, and it sure works. Okay. Back to this set down, but bad news, what do you see? Uh-oh, uh-oh is right. There's no, no more support from the floor. So make sure you're on vertical, and now you're really gonna have to use a pelvic tilt, uh, an abdominal brace with all your heart. And ready, go. Down, set down, bring it back and up. Heel is down, relax, back and up. Now never, never does your trunk relax here. You're working your trunk like crazy. You might just grab a little second of brace release right there. I think I see Lori's knee creeping in there, Lori. Uh oh. <laughs> Not that me. No I thought she it was, was back here. Back here. Two more, gang. <laughs> here it is, last one. Woo! Woo! Whew. We need a, we, yeah, are getting tougher yeah, here. Yeah, we need a break here. <laughs> okay. Now remember. Oh, but is my torso in control? Remember, <laughs> you got to grab that brace as you go down. When you're down here, try and remember to relax this. And that's hard to remember. 
And if you're going to relax your brace at all, you're going to catch just a little relax right there when you bring your legs both back up. Okay. Are you game? Sure. And it. Ready, set, go. Heel. Leg down. Heel. Back up. Heel. And back and up. Third time. I gotta grab it every time I come up there. Yes. Grab. Sometimes. Oh, right there. Sometimes. I almost try and keep it for for more than one, and that just wears you out. Yeah. Oh, I have to keep the grab here. I don't have time to let it go. You don't? No. Oh, I let it go when I can. It really takes some concentration. Last one. Whoa! Woo! Oh, put those legs down. How you feeling? Now, let's go back to abdominal muscles as prime movers. That was abdominal muscles as stabilizers. And we'll use the oblique. This is the side-lying oblique lift. You're going to cross one leg over the other. And this needs to stay stable. This doesn't want to move around. And on your side, you're going to lift up, if you can, if you can. But let me tell you something. People with long levers, long legs, have an advantage here. People with short levers and or heavy shoulder girdles are at a real disadvantage. So you may try this and get a so lot of this. Don't feel bad, man. Don't feel bad. Don't feel bad at all because, listen, just making the effort is very worthwhile. I'm going to ask Patty to bend her leg and show you a crunch rather than a lift. And she's just going to come up and hold it in isometric, right? Mm -hmm. And that isometric contraction is very valuable because you know what? These muscles actually work isometrically a lot of the time in stabilizing anyway. So the point here is if you don't produce any lift, don't worry. doesn't matter. What we want you to produce is an effort. Okay, are you game? You've picked your position. Ready, work. And here we'll count this one. Here's up and up and down and down. Two and up. Boy, do I feel it right there in the side of my torso. Yes, so I think I'm just one of those up, shorter types up. without the lever. <laughs> I think I got your lever. Yeah, you definitely <laughs> got strength, kid. Long legs, you didn't get. And up and These up. These are my favorite. And down. So you're drawing <laughs> your rib cage Don't you make toward your hips. girls. <laughs> Last one. Whoa! Now That's listen, like ooh, here's, here's a little treat. Oh, Take this little you, treat. Thank you, thank you. Ooh, 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 thank ooh. You. Bend your knees and whip those hands. <laughs> Doesn't that feel good? Mm -hmm. Okay, is this the hardest thing that we do? It is for me. No, no, I, no. No, no, for me. no. It is for me. I think these are the hardest. <laughs> yeah. And so I would caution you not to hold your breath. They're so hard that you, you tend to want to grunt. Try and breathe normally. Tell me when you're ready. Ready. Ready, set, go. Lift, lift. Oh, I just want to go down, on this side. Down. <laughs> up, Maybe I want to up. crunch on this side. You're welcome to. Up. You're welcome to. You don't have what to do both to sides. <laughs> They disappear. You know, my other side Ooh. is stronger also. Hard work. Internal, external oblique. Don't fail me now. Do you think we're uh, at 10 yet? No, we got two more. Oh, gosh, she's counting. <laughs> come yeah. on, guys. Come on. Last one. Oh, okay. make it nice. All the way up. Oh. Oh. oh, here's your treat. Here's your treat. Stretch out. Can you feel it? Here's the question. If you can feel tension in the side of your trunk, well, that's where it you're is. doing it. Hey, you're home. You're, you're in the ball game. Whip back around here. We're going to do abduction. That means away from the center line. Oh, these are Patty's favorite. Oh, these are hard. I do like these. The first <laughs> one we're going to do with the support down. You start at vertical. Heel comes down. Leg extends. Now watch this. Holding this brace to make my pelvis stay stable. I abduct just a few degrees out, back to the center line. I abduct again, and back to the center line, heel and up. 
Does all that make sense? Mm -hmm. Got it. I don't know if we want to do it, but... <laughs> okay, you're going to have to really brace for all your worth. And here we go. Down, extend, out, in, out, in, back, and up. Again, heel, extend, out, in, out, in, back, and up. Now listen, that abduction off the center line is just a few degrees. You can't whip that leg out there a foot or so. Nobody has that range of motion if you're in abdominal brace. Out, in, out, in, back, and up. Well, if out. you can believe it, we still have five more. Oh, God. <laughs> five, six, seven, eight. Out, in. It's your belly I want you to think about. Don't worry so much about your leg. Here, here's ball game. How many more? <laughs> Two, I think, isn't it? Even I'm beginning to wonder. <laughs> now, when we first did these. Last one. Uh, and we had the support up. We couldn't do 10 at a crack. We had to get good enough to do that. That's coming up next. And, well, not next, but <laughs> we're going to do it soon. Okay, ready, we go. Heel, extend. Out, in, out, in, and back, and up. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You got it. Now, it is so much easier here with this support leg down. And that, remember, is your cheating mechanism. When you feel that you're starting to lose your brace, your back is starting to arch off the floor, you just quietly squeak that leg, the stable leg, the stationary leg, back down onto the floor to help you, con you cheat in a constructive manner, a manner that lets you go on and yet doesn't compromise your position and technique and pelvic stability. Come on. Out. You want to make them a little harder, Renee? Just lift your head a little. <laughs> what you your, please, <laughs> put your head down. Patty, Thank you, Pat. You are Thank making you. me Thank tired. So <laughs> oh, done. Okay. All right. We are going to roll over here and, and work on extension. You know, the um, hip extensors uh, influence pelvic movement and so we're going to work them at the same time we lift your arm you're going to take opposite arm and leg and it's going to look like this and we don't want it to look like this you got pelvic bones here you can probably feel them you want them to stay smack on the floor so this is your range of motion that's it that's all she wrote and here we go up for two, down for two. Up and up. What's your pelvis doing? Your pelvis has got to be smack on the floor. So lifting your leg will increase your ability to maintain pelvic stability upon hip extension. Lifting your arm will strengthen your upper back so that we avoid um, kyphosis, you know, the kind of hunched rounded Last shoulders. Mm. Ooh, I quite like this one. Okay, yeah, now yeah, you're going to need to turn your head. <laughs> Feels good. Look the other way. Lift the other arm and leg. Ready? Yep. Everybody set? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Up and up and down and down. Up and up and down and down. Here's three and four. Mind your pelvis. It's got to be smack on the floor. <laughs> don't be, don't be an eager beaver. Don't lift too high. And up, up. Now, if this is too hard, if you're not able to do both limbs at once, hey, no problem. Do one limb. Last one. Up and up and down and down. Good. You'll finally get to where you can do both at once. All right, folks. Bad news. Oh, here My face. <laughs> here you well, come, Patty. Up, this right? is head dedicated up. to Dr. <laughs> Patty. 
All right. Get yourself measured here, and his, this is what's going to happen. You're going to come down and extend, abduct a few degrees off the center line, do it again, bring it back and up. Okay, ready, set, go. Down, extend, out, in, out, in, back, and up. Don't you even ask me if this is 10. <laughs> I'll tell you when we're done. A, it's like kids on a on a car trip. A, are we there yet? <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you when we're there. Grab that brace on the way down. Well, this is the one that none of us could do to ten right. at the beginning. And I was absolutely astonished at how quickly we gained strength. It was amazing. You cannot gain strength that quickly in any of your other big muscle groups. Weight train as you may. So these abs really come round for you. You just show them the way. Now, keep your foot flexed on the way out there and keep your toes pointed toward the sky. Now I know this is the last one. You <laughs> can't make oh, me do any more. I thought more. that was only four. I think I Oh, put your feet down Ooh, and relax like a minute. Now this is Dude. really tough work by anybody's standards. You're out there thinking, good grief, this is grueling. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta you start work with to one, the... though. Okay, that's right. You take the first step. Okay, you measured. And ready, set, go. Down, extend. Out, in. Out, in, back. Whew. Grab it well, again. I can tell this side Out. is going to be harder. It, it is. Already feels it hard. is because your trunk is already fatigued. Out, in, out, in. But this is really you really gain. You're you're really pushing your limits here. I certainly am. Grab it. Hold that Ooh. brace. Hold it. Back and up. Five more. We're halfway home, Drew. Oh, troops. my gosh. <laughs> Concentrate. You may need to be quiet. It's okay. Use your quiet brain. Quiet is a sign of desperation. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Three more. It's getting tough. Oh. Two more. Try not to hold your breath. Breathe normally. Oh, one more. Can we do it? You can always, you can always cheat. You can always put that leg down. Oh, Yikes. Oh, heck, let's do 20 more. <laughs> it was so much Go fun. Go for it, Charlotte. Wow, we're here. <laughs> we'll watch. I wouldn't be very popular, would I? <laughs> Back extensions. We're going to work um, the erector spiny muscles in the back. They're only little guys, you know. There are lots of them, but they're only little guys. And the um, back extensors play a part in controlling pelvic movement. And we want them to be strong. Now, the easiest way to do this is to recruit a friend or family member and have them right here on your thighs. That is definitely the easy way. <laughs> if you don't have anybody around, you might be able to curl your toes here and hang on to the step like I'm going to do. And here's the movement. You come up and up and down and down. And you need only come to neutral. OK. Everybody, here we go. Up and up and down and down. Now, you could do this. <laughs> this you could do this easier. on a piano bench or off of a really sturdy table. And if you've got somebody sitting on your, your legs, it doesn't compromise the work of your uh, back extensors. It's still really good exercise. It just means that your toes are not having to work so hard. I'm Last finding this one, one quite relaxing. <laughs> yes, yes, you I'm would. <laughs> actually, We're done, Charlie. Actually, Patty, <laughs> you're going to pay for this. <laughs> you're gonna pay for we drew straws, and when you know, she lucked out. <laughs> okay, those are back extensors. Now, the hip extensors also play a part 
in um, pelvic movement. And we're going to work these hip extensors against overload and see if we can still, against all that challenge, maintain a stable pelvis. We're using tubing and a step, though you might be able just to take a big rubber band, one of those really big thick long ones, put it under um, the leg of a stool or the sofa and slip your foot in there. Stand up and hold on to something. What's wrong here? Yep, there's no abdominal brace. There she is. And so you're gonna extend your leg back with your brace in place. This is what you want, this is what you don't want. Most people will give it that back arch. And we wanna learn to do it without that. Okay. Ready, brace. ready, set, go. <laughs> Out, back, and front. Back, and back, and front, and front. So this is hip extension. And it doesn't so much matter what our foot is doing as what our trunk is doing. So you keep an evil eye on our pelvis. Lori, how you doing, girl? It's easy to let loose, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it really is easy. And you know, we that's when that's injuries fun. occur. One more. Mm -hmm. Done. Now switch legs. Uh, back injuries tend to occur when we lift, push, or pull heavy objects without stabilizing the torso. Wait for me. <laughs> Wait for you. And now we're going to have the strength. We're going to have the strength to stabilize. We're going to have the strength and the knowledge, the body knowledge. You ready? Oh, yeah. Ready? Okay. Go. Back, back, forward, and remember. It's brace, 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 brace. At least hold your trunk in neutral. I like these ones with the resistance. I do too. And you know something? Doing this has really kind of made me almost unconsciously aware of where my pelvis is at during daily life. We need to develop a strong abdominal wall to support the low back and protect us from chronic back pain. Yes? We're done. We're Good. done. Let me show you what happens. When you've not got a good strong pelvis, good strong abdominal wall to stabilize this, gravity just gradually pulls your pelvis out of neutral. And it tends to happen when you're sitting and standing. And that's what you end up with. And that that develops chronic back pain. So, what do you think? Do we look any better? <laughs> yeah, is it bikini time? You got the abs, girl. <laughs> Listen, guys, these are tough. Uh, well, I want you to know that. We think so, too. But they're so valuable. Go get them. Woo! Yeah! Exercise wear by Gilda Marks, the exercise wear with the breathables lining. It figures is produced in the splendid grandeur of the Rocky Mountains at the Banff Springs Hotel. like to buy an exercise video or one of our cookbooks, call 1-800-MORE-FIT. Viewers who write and would like an answer should enclose $3 in a self-addressed stamped envelope. To test your abdominals for their stabilizing strength, lie on the floor and abdominal brace. Get that back flat against the floor. Now I'm going to slip my fingers under here at the edge of Patty's sacrum. 
Now she's going to lower both legs until she or I feel that sacrum begin to lift off the floor. And then at that point, when it starts to lift off, she's going to stop. And I'm going to note the angle form between Patty's legs and the floor. Now, 90 degrees is your starting angle. If she gets down at about 75, that's poor strength. 60 degrees, oh, that's, that's fair. 30 degrees, that's getting good. Man, if she gets down to five degrees, that's really excellent strength. Okay, let's see how you do. Let me get my hands under here. Okay, she's got good abdominal brace. Now work, Patty. Here's where the ball game is. Here's where the work is. Oh, I just feel it lifting. Yep, Am I right? right? There. Yep. Patty, that, that's getting real close <laughs> to five degrees. Good work, girl. <laughs> good strong abs. And if you're not strong, if you're still at poor strength, you'll get better. The It Figures video collection includes Return to Slender, a two-hour video designed for women who are postnatal or have substantial weight to lose. It includes a Kegel workout, a step workout, an abdominal program, and a weight training workout. Hour-long intermediate level step videos include Lighten Up, which is two separate half-hour workouts on one cassette, Life's a Bench, and One Step Further. Hour-long advanced level step videos include Benchmark, Charlene and the Bench Boys, and Step Right Up. Hour-long intermediate level aerobic videos include Moving to Lean, which is low impact, Less Impact, More Results, also low impact, and Hang In There, which is high and low impact. Hour-long advanced level aerobic videos are Rev Up and Rev Up the Sequel. No Jump Aerobics is our low impact beginner aerobics workout. Our one hour intermediate level weight training videos are Serious Curves and A Firm Commitment which is two separate half-hour workouts on one cassette. Muscle building is an hour-long beginner weight training video. One-hour specialty videos are Home Stretch, a stretching program to improve flexibility, and Eat Less Fat, Not Less Food, a guide to low-fat food choices. All recent It Figures TV shows are available with five shows on one cassette in the same weekly schedule seen on TV. Our half-hour videos include Total Toning, a weight training workout made up of clips from the It Figures TV shows, and Fat Fat Fighter, an aerobic workout made up of It Figures TV show clips. To order, write the address shown or call 1-800-MORE-FIT.